Good day folks, this is my latest device and there's more than meets the eye and I'd like you to take a close look. I want to give you the opportunity to take a very close look at every mechanism going on here and you can judge for yourself. It's basically a multi-dimensional playground. There's multiple layers of, of things going on here. So just for example, you want to see the difference in coil sizes and dimensions. All that matters for this setup here. And we have, for example, a middle coil, well, which is not really a coil, but could this be a capacitive plate? Could this be actually energizing a rare earth magnet here on the top, varying, varying the fields? That's pretty interesting. Could the top here be a capacitor that's actually rectifying this various currents from the plasma and the varying magnetic fields. This is interesting. Could we be introducing a, a kind of asymmetrical regaging here? Very interesting. How about the bottom plate? It seems like it's the same thing at the top. But look at the details. Very fine details. If you see here what's that diode in the coil ah there's something different there's a diode in between this loop here this causes a difference could they be using the diode to create a kind of broken symmetry with a nonlinear component so now we have a hybrid capacitor coil isolated from each other both able to do their own job very interesting. Of course, leading to another kind of asymmetrical regaging. Now, the big picture here is you have all these multiple systems working together, right down to the magnet being pulsed with its own trigger, but it doesn't stop there. The coil winding is unique. As you see, the core is live, and there's one wire underneath that goes all the way back down, and then the winding comes all the way back up. What is that? A kind of bucking configuration. Oh my goodness, could we be using a kind of cancelling field which is also modulating the magnet and also creating scalar waves interacting with the plasma? Another energy system to uh, manipulate and work with? Could he be doing that? So much more that meets the eye here. But at the end of the day, we rectify all this, which goes right to a common rectify here. Right here when we get DC with very little input. We just need to turn on the plasma lamp and all of these systems will work together. We have a varying broken symmetry. We have asymmetrical regaging going on here. We're taking advantage of Maxwell's original 20 variables. So let's see what happens when we turn this thing on. I'm just going to get the wire and turn it on for you. See, there you see it working, folks. See how the magnet is directing the plasma and it's doing that dance with the varying magnetic fields because we're varying the oscillations with the capacitor in the middle modulating the magnet with our special bucking configuration here, introducing scalar waves and others. And then you see down here, there's a dance going on, a unique dance with the hybrid um, capacitor inducer coil here. And we've got the rectifier, and look, we're already at 106 volts. It goes really, really quick. So either we could set up a cap dump circuit here and do it like we do with Bedini, or we could dump this directly in the power source. So it's just to show you right now how this energy is very, very uh, quick. It's very similar to uh, the back EMF, even though it's different concepts. This is not the Bedini setup. So I actually had to turn it off there for a moment to let it calm down on its own because I was actually going over the uh, voltage rating for this capacitor here. So you see a few seconds and it charged to the max voltage rating so a smaller capacitor maybe 10 uf would work good like we were doing with the bedini motors but my point is this energy gets created very quickly and we can convert that to real power with the capacitive discharges